What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Big Show Sports Podcast. I want to apologize for my lateness. I am very, very, very sorry. So, I'm going to jump into it. But again, I apologize for being extra late. So, but let's get into some some sports talk today. Alabama, they're number one in men's college basketball for the first time in a while. That is something to be happy about. It is something to be glad about in the University of Alabama of having the number one basketball team in college basketball. But how long can Alabama stay at number one? Will they get the big head and lose the next few games? But I do believe Alabama is a very, very, very tough team to play. So I'm, I'm not going to be on long, you know, 30 minutes. That's how I do it. Or maybe less. But now, the South Carolina led the Gamecocks and the LSU Tigers. I didn't have time to speak on that game, but now I will. you got to understand. South Carolina, that is a whole different ball game. That, them women were, were like unstoppable at times. South Carolina was really on their game against LSU. The hype on LSU star, she didn't show up. She didn't perform as she should. She didn't show up. In a game like that, your stars have to show up. Your stars have to play. You have to hype on you. But now as you can see, the hype is starting to die down because you've seen, okay, you're not playing the Tennessee. You're not playing Mississippi State. You're playing the best team in women's college basketball. You have to show up. It doesn't matter. Oh, she's a late starter. No, that's an excuse. You got to start playing great from, from start to finish. It's no excuse. It's no excuse. I'm going to get to the Super Bowl here shortly. But it's no excuse when you're talking and when you're playing against the number one team in the land. All eyes will be on you. When you talk about a game, when you talk about how good you are, when you talk about how great you are, you have to prove it on the court. If not, shut up. That's how I am. If you're not gonna, if you if you're gonna talk all that noise, you're gonna you're gonna tell us how how great you are, how good you are. Okay, show us, show us against a great team. Everyone always want to make an excuse. The referee, the referee, it's not the referee's fault that LSU lost that game. LSU lost that game because their heads were not in the game. They thought, oh. We're going to go on in Columbia and we're going to smash them. No, you're not. All that hype centered around that team. You get down there, you get thumped. You get ran out of Columbia, South Carolina. So I don't want to hear nothing about LSU women's basketball. You cannot play like that and expect teams to be scared of you. You have to play good in every game. Your stars have to play well. They don't play well, that's what happens. They couldn't hang with South Carolina. I told people that from the beginning. They're not going to be able to run with South Carolina. It's not, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen at all. So, we know New Mexico State head coach was fired today because of the, of the hazing incident. That is stuff that people are taking a little bit more serious now when it comes down to the hazing um, stuff. That is that is very crazy. I don't know why people want to haze other other students for. I don't get the point of that. I don't. I I just don't understand that and and believe me you I'm sure it will be more things to come out about because I think New Mexico State postponed their whole their whole season I do believe you know over a hazing incident coaches don't want to talk coaches don't want to say anything 
make you think they may be a part of it. So why so why not say anything? Why keep it quiet? So that's that will you know bother me for a little bit. But we know last night um, I didn't have um, an opportunity to talk about it. I talked about it on um, on Twitter. No, not Twitter. I mean. Um, TikTok this morning about the shooting out in Michigan State University. That that is something like a, you know I don't get into politics. I don't do all that stuff. But if I if I can, I I just you know I might talk about it a little bit here and there. But you know it was just crazy. You know how how things are starting to happen now. More and more and more and more and more shootings is is happening. You know so. We don't know what's going to happen with all this stuff. You, you know, can't you stop it? No, you, you, know, you can't stop it. If, if people are going to do something, they're going to do it. So what can we do to stop all this nonsense? What can we do? All we can do is is uh, is try to see what what we can do. But listen, I'm going to take a quick break. I know I just came on. I'm going to take a quick break, and I'll be right back. For, for holding on and let's not forget the XFL is is on its you know is on its way we're getting ready for that and also the United States Football League is is starting to um, peak around the corner I think everything starts real soon so we will have football we will have football so it's you know we won't be depressed as as much but we will have football so I am excited and I am ready we got college hoops going on right now. Uh, the Kansas Jayhawks and Oklahoma State University, they're going at it right now. That score is 58 to 50. And I'm going to give you all the scores. I've been slacking on that lately, but I'm going to give you the scores for today. I just gave you the, the um, Kansas Jayhawks score 58 to 50 right now in the second quarter against Oklahoma. Kansas State. And Oklahoma, they're going at it right now. Oklahoma is winning that game 52 to 42. And Providence, they beat Creighton 94 to 86. And my Syracuse Orangemen, they beat NC State 75 to 72. So we know March Madness is coming up. It's getting real close. I'm going to tell you right now. I don't think, I don't think these two teams may not make the tournament. Um, if you disagree, if you disagree, I'm not going to argue with. Um, with nobody over sports anymore because some people just can't take it. Uh, I don't think Kentucky may make it uh, uh, in, in North Carolina as well. I don't think they they will make it, but if they do, it'll be a surprise. But like I've been saying for for a little while, um, it's not the same seeing Kentucky and and North Carolina and and even Duke playing like this. I'm I'm so used to seeing those teams in the top top ten, top fifteen, and you know, nothing less, but you know, it's just crazy how these teams are just starting to slip. So we got some good games tomorrow. This will be a very, very, very important game. I wanna I wanna just say I don't know what's going on out in Tennessee. Every time they have a great opportunity to get to number one, number two they just fall. They keep getting whooped. They keep getting stumped. But this will be a very good game tomorrow on ESPN2. Alabama, the number one team in the land, they will be playing Tennessee. They're number 10. It will be a, that will be an awesome game. Watch that game really closely. It could possibly be an upset. Who knows? Then Virginia, they're playing Louisville. 
Louisville, uh, Xavier and Marquette, Indiana and Northwestern, TCU and Iowa State, and San Diego State versus Fresno State. These are going to be some very good games coming on tomorrow, and I wouldn't miss Nan one of them. I watch every game, but watch the um, the Alabama and Tennessee game pretty closely. That's going to be a pretty good game. I, I think Virginia, they're going to take care of Louisville. And like Xavier, they're going to beat Marquette. And Northwestern, they're going to beat Indiana. And TCU, they're going to lose to Iowa State. And I got Fresno State for some reason beating San Diego. Uh, we're going to jump. We're just jumping all over the place now. But um, the NBA All-Star game is, is going on right now as we speak. That's pretty good, but I hadn't watched long enough to feel for it. Um, women's college basketball. This, this is that today is yeah. I, I got my days mixed up. Today is Tuesday. I got my days all mixed up. But um, I forgot. Yeah, today is Tuesday. Um, we got some games tomorrow. They didn't have no games today. I really thought the latest had games today, but they don't. Here go the games for tomorrow: UConn versus Creighton, Villanova versus St. John's. And Oklahoma versus Texas Tech, and Iowa versus Wisconsin. Then were your games for tomorrow in ladies basketball. And again, NCAA baseball is starting to to peak its head. It is here. A lot of teams are ready. A lot of fans are ready to claim their team. When your team lose, please stand by your team and don't. Go pick another team. Stand by your team. So, the college baseball showdown. Number nine, Oklahoma versus Missouri. This game is on the 17th, but I'm telling you right now. Youngstown versus Illinois. The Wake Forest Tournament. And next, we have Virginia versus Navy and the Hughes Brothers Challenge. Michigan, they, they will play Fresno State in the MLB Desert in the in Gonzaga, they will play Texas Tech. These games are all the 17th. North, oh, Oregon State, I'm sorry, Oregon State versus New Mexico. And Maine versus Pittsburgh. Louisville versus Bucknell. And NC State versus Wagner. We got a lot of games coming up on the 17th, and I'm going to take all the games. And we have Jackson State versus Georgia, Villanova versus Washington, Indiana State. I never heard of Indiana State. They will play Iowa. Notre Dame versus Lipscomb, Youngstown versus Wake Forest. Wake Forest is number six. And here we go. This will be a very good game to watch. Vanderbilt versus TCU. That will be a really great game. And I'm going to give you the rankings right now in college baseball. I'm just going to give you the uh, I'm just giving you the top 25. I'm not going to give it to y'all. Number one, it hurts me to say this. LSU is number one. Tennessee is number two. Stanford is number three. Ole Miss is number four. Texas A&M is number five. Wake Forest is sixth. LSU, no, Florida is number seven. I don't know, I'm getting LSU in my head. Florida is number seven. Arkansas is number eight. Oklahoma State is number nine. Vanderbilt is number 10. East Carolina is number 11. North Carolina is number 12. Maryland is 13. V Tech is 14. TCU is 15. Louisville is 16. And UCLA is 17. Southern Miss is 18. Virginia is 19. My Alabama Crimson Tide, they're 20. NC State is 21. Miami is 22. South Carolina is 23. And Texas Tech is 24. And the hometown Oregon Ducks is number 25 in college baseball ranking. So, can't say I didn't give it to you. I gave you the rankings, but I do see some upsets in college baseball really early. But I just don't see right now no one beating. LSU as of right now. I just I just don't see it happening right now. Uh, I know they have a really good squad out there at LSU. Very good team. 
I, I, I can see them going undefeated. But I'm going to switch gears now, and I'm going to talk about college football. The, um, the schedules are out. I don't think no one really uh, talked about this schedule. But I'm going to talk about it. What kind of schedule do the Georgia Bulldogs have? Hell, it's shaped up for them to go back to the national championship. Their schedule is plenty of cupcakes on their schedule. Plenty of cupcakes. I, I said, you talk about Alabama, but Georgia's schedule is horrible. Not horrible, it's easy. They're going to run through that division and probably get back to the damn championship again with that schedule. Let's, let's go over the Georgia Bulldogs schedule for this coming up season. I'm going to tell you this schedule and I'm going to highlight USC's Ohio State, the Ohio State, and Miami. September 2nd, they play UT Martin. Okay? September 9th, Ball State, 2 and up. Now, this is where they're trying to get a little tricky. South Carolina. They're going to go 2 and one That's going to be your upset right there. 3 and one UAB. They're going to beat Auburn. They're going to beat Kentucky. They're going to beat Vanderbilt. Okay? Their bye is October 21st. So, they're going to beat Kentucky. They're gonna beat. They're gonna beat Tennessee. Their bye is on the twenty-first. Okay. Here you got Florida. You don't gotta worry about that. They're gonna beat Florida. Then you got Missouri. Then you got Ole Miss. And you got Tennessee. I should have sworn they have Tennessee on that schedule twice. Let me. Let me go back. I should have sworn I'd seen Tennessee twice. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I thought I thought I was tripping there. They have Tennessee. Vanderbilt. I forgot. Yeah, Vanderbilt is in um, Nashville. Yeah. Uh, then you got your body. Then you got Florida. Missouri. Ole Miss. Tennessee on the 18th. They're going to beat them. They're going to beat Georgia Tech. You don't have to worry about that. They're going to the um, SEC Championship. That's what it's set up for. It is set up for Georgia to go back to the championship. They have a, real, a really easy schedule. So let's go over the Alabama Crimson Tide schedule for um, this upcoming season. Here we go. We're going to get to that here shortly on their 2023 schedule because that Georgia schedule is really, really easy. It's, it's set up for them to um, to go back to the championship. What do you guys think about that? I'm going to give you the Alabama schedule right now. Here we go. Let's try to compare it while I have time. Alabama, here we go. You got Middle Tennessee State. You got Texas. They come to Alabama this time. You got the South Florida Bulls. Ole Miss. Mississippi State. Texas A&M. Arkansas. Tennessee, LSU comes to our house. That game is November 4th. Mark that game on your calendars right now. 
That's going to be a pretty good game. Then the day before my birthday, they play Kentucky. Then it's Chattanooga. Then it's Auburn. Let's give you the season prediction. The early season prediction. 1-0. 2-0. They're going to beat Texas. 3-0. They're going to beat the Bulls. 4 the only team that'll give us a challenge, it'll be LSU. I really do think it'd be it, um, it'll be LSU to give Alabama a push. They always give Alabama a push every year. That's you know that's not new. I don't really see Tennessee making too much noise. I really do think Alabama will make a push, and they will be in the SEC championship against Georgia. That's that's just my early thoughts for that. So let's give you in the Pac-12. We're going to go mess with Colorado. That I've been wanting to touch it, and we're going to touch that schedule right now. Now, the Colorado Buffalo schedule for 2023. Now I know some people they're not giving Deion Sanders a chance, <laughs> which they should. They should give him. Uh, you know, the benefit of the doubt like they gave other coaches that, that came in before him. I think they should give him an opportunity. Um, September 2nd, it will not be an easy game. You're going on the road against TCU in a hostile environment. Um, it's going to be, a, it's gonna be a, a, a good game. It's not, it's not going to be a, uh, a shell lacking. But if, if TCU get off to a fast start against Colorado, it's going to be a long day in the ballpark, but it's going to be a really good game. But I just don't see Colorado winning that game. I just don't see it happening. So they will go 0-1. Nebraska, they're they're getting their feet under them again, and I and I'm very happy to to see that. I like to see where the program will be going under their new head coach, but it's not it's not going to be. A good day for Nebraska because I think Colorado, they're going to bounce back from that September 2nd loss to TCU. They're going to go on a winning streak. They're going to beat Nebraska on the ninth. Then the week after, you know, the week later, they're going to beat Colorado State and they're going to go 2-1. And, and, and I want you guys to circle these two games on your calendar as well. At Oregon on September, on September 23rd, that's going to be a good game. I'm going to tell you, uh, I'm going to tell you about this game right quick. Oregon Oregon has a very great recruiting class in there, out there on Eugene. But Oregon does not protect a, a, a lead. They they will lose a close game. It happens half the time. Uh, Bo Nix is back. But I just don't think that's going to be enough. I think Colorado will beat them. So that'll be 3-1. They're gonna use to you. They're gonna lose to UCLA. I mean USC. So they'll be three and two, four and two. They're gonna be Arizona State. They're gonna beat Stanford. Lose to UCLA. They're gonna beat Oregon State. They're gonna beat Arizona. Washington State. I you know I will be careful with that game November seventeenth, and they play Utah on November twenty fifth. That's gonna be a pretty good game as well. But I do see Colorado. And again, winning a few games. I gave him the benefit of the doubt. You know, the TCU game, Oregon, and USC game, to me, will be the games that you may want to watch out for if, if you're a fan. But it's going to be some pretty good games. I know Coach Sanders will have his guys coached up and ready to rock and roll come September 2nd against TCU. But I could be wrong. But I'm not going to put TCU on upset alert at all with this game. I think it will be well in hand. But I'm anxious to see the first year of Dean or well, Coach Sanders in Colorado. I'm 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 very excited to to see Deion Sanders out in Colorado. It's gonna be very, very cold, you know, at times. But it's gonna be a pretty good opportunity again for not only Coach Sanders but the fans, the alumni bring something back to Colorado football, bring the fans because once that place get rocking it, it, you know, it can get crazy. Same in West Virginia. If you've never been to a game out in Morgantown, West Virginia, 
a beautiful sight, especially at night. It can get really hectic. It can get really crazy. Now, I know it's not like Ella is strong Saturday night. Listen to me, guys. Listen. If you've never been to West Virginia at night to a game when it's packed, I mean when it's packed to the limit, that is a very, very difficult place to play. Same in Camp Randall. If you've never been there, it can get really crazy. Nebraska, Wisconsin, it can get really, 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 really loud. But of course, some people will say LSU because they've probably never been out that way to experience that. It can get really, really, really freaking intimidating when you're the opposing team out in you know, Morgantown, West Virginia. I went up there a few years ago to a game, and I tell you, it was very, 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 um, very crazy out there in uh, Morgantown. But it was very, it was very fun. So, college football is a ways away, but it's, it's never too late to to talk about college football. I'm gonna tell you, the coach, if if they if he doesn't do anything, um, could you have to win at this school? You have to win at Florida. You have to win at Florida. Florida, Florida is one of those schools to where they they win championships. They win championships. I can say it again. I can say this school too, too as well. Um, LSU, they win championships too. It's going to start getting to the time to where if, if you don't start getting to where you need to be and what they hired you for, they're going to fire you. They're going to fire you for sure. They're going to let you go. Of course, they love you at first, but 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 when you're not bringing in those championships, they're going to show you that door. Unless unless you've been in that position for, for, for so long. Like with Georgia, I never thought Georgia would fire Mark Rips. I had never think Oklahoma. I would never think these schools would fire certain coaches. But I'm going to tell you a few coaches that that's still there, and they're not going nowhere. UConn women's coach, Jim Beheim, he's not going nowhere. Bob Higgins, West Virginia basketball coach, he's not he's not going anywhere. Coach Kyler Perry in Kentucky, he, he's not going nowhere. Bill Self in Kansas, he's not going nowhere. But it's it's just crazy, man, how all these guys are still there. But because they won championships besides Bob Huggins, he, he, um, he hasn't won no championships in West Virginia basketball, but he's a great coach. He's a great coach. But I'm being short on time, but I want to touch the Super Bowl stuff right quick because I didn't have an opportunity to do that. Now, I'm going to start the halftime show. I didn't enjoy it. I didn't enjoy it. I just, I just didn't feel it. You know, it's like, oh, well, because she didn't get naked or shake her, 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 her booty. But it, it's not that. It's just I didn't um, really feel it. I didn't have a feel for it. Um, I, I turned the channel. I'm not going to lie. I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. I enjoyed um, Chris Stapleton. I really did. Hopefully next year he can open up the um, the halftime show. That will be really awesome to, um, to see that. But we know... Um, Jay Z, he he has the music now over the Super Bowl, so we don't know how that's gonna rock. But um, with the game, the game was really good. Now you people know that that guy from the Eagles grabbed that man's jersey. Of course they're gonna call it. It was right there. Of course they're gonna call it. But everybody is so quick to say it's Rick. Stop, Rick. Kansas City was just a better team. You know, Patrick Mahomes won the MVP. Here's my thing. Here's my thing here with that. Can they run it back? You have the team to do so. Can they run it back? That is the question right there. So um, I'm getting very short on time. I'm sure I didn't get an opportunity to talk about other things that I had on the agenda to talk about, but that's okay. That's how things go sometimes. You know, I was late again, but I apologize about that. But, um, I'll be back here next Monday and Tuesday. Sometimes I do be on TikTok to show my face. Sometimes I do talk about the sports on there here and there. You can see me on there on TikTok as well. But my time is getting short, people. Have you a great night, and I will be back here Monday and Tuesday. Good night, Portland. 
I will see y'all later. Y'all have a great night and happy Valentine's Day and good night.